So this morning I'm in Castleford Pont near Pontifact and here we've got Japanese knotweed growing at the back of this person's house. Now what's interesting is this person bought the house last year um, and the Japanese knotweed was not disclosed. There is no Japanese knotweed within her garden. However, it is directly, as you can see, on the other side of the fence line. Now, the TA6 form asks about is the property affected by Japanese knotweed. Now the guidance notes say that if there's Japanese knotweed within three meters of the boundary, it should be disclosed. It wasn't. This box, the box was ticked no, um, and as such, um, that was misrepresentation. So because there is certainly Japanese knotweed and it's been here for several years, easily, I would say over five years to be honest, um, easily, um, because it's, it's quite a bit of it. So, so yeah, if you are buying a house and they've ticked, no, there's no Japanese knotweed, it's always good to have, or certainly if they've ticked, I don't know, and it's always good to have a surveyor come in, like ourselves, that will come and look specifically for Japanese knotweed, and then you won't have this whole headache of having to deal with this as well as a new house. So if you've got any issues, any questions at all about Japanese knotweed, give us a shout. Jason Harker, Japanese knotweed expert.